Today we are going over what I am hunting now during the beginning of bourbon hunting season. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the channel and checking out the video. Please do me two, two favors. Subscribe, that'll really, really help me out. And please like or dislike this video. As you guys definitely help me out with that because YouTube's algorithm loves that. Yes, yes it does. No, but just doing those two favors is so important for me and I know that with your help we're gonna get to that goal of getting up there and to more people's views and getting to that thousand subscriber goal that I have so yeah we're, we're, we're almost there only hundred and fifty or so to go so you guys can make that happen for me so what are we gonna do today today I'm trying to do a quick quick video for you guys and just let you know you know what I'm currently hunting somebody the other day um, shot me a message and they told me hey what are you gonna be looking for now at the beginning of bourbon hunting season you know bourbon hunting season hasn't really officially started I don't think but we are getting to that fall when you start seeing all the things coming up and I think that you have to be kind of focused on what it is that you're going to go after, what it is that you're going to look for, because if not, then you're going to spend a lot of money. You're not going to probably get everything that you want to get, and you're just going to be way disorganized. So I suggest that if you guys are going to embark on this journey of starting to go and see um, what you're gonna get, uh, what you're gonna hunt for during bourbon hunting season, definitely get some research under you, at the very least. I'm not sponsored by them, but I really use this website a lot, breakingbourbon.com. They have a release calendar on their website. Check it out, go and see what are the different things that come out around different times. It's not the end all be all, but it's a good reference and a good resource to have. And it'll definitely, definitely help you guys out. Now, in terms of what I'm looking for, let's get into that short list quick. And uh, first, let's do an inaugural cheers. So, cheers. This is good. This is gonna come out on a store haul video <laughs> that I'm gonna do pretty shortly, but I'll just let you guys know. This is, yep, you see it. It is Larceny Barrel Proof, and this is B522. You guys know I'm not a really big Larceny fan, but I've tasted this, and yeah, I had to get it. It was at a good price, too. Uh, that'll come out in the video, so stay tuned for that, but yes. That is one of the things that I'll be looking at. Now, I would put this hand in hand with that Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proof series and the Booker's series, right? And the reason I'm gonna say that is because I'm always going to be hunting for a Booker's, always going to be hunting for an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and now, most recently, I'm going to be hunting for a Larceny Barrel Proof. The reason that I'm putting them all in the same category is because they come out three to four times a year. So the Larceny and the Alleged Craig come out three times a year. So the C batch is about to come out um, September time frame to end of December time frame. And that's gonna be for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Larceny Barrel Proof. And then Booker's usually does four releases and they're uh, 03 batch and 04 batch should be coming out soon, but I still haven't even gotten the 01 or the 02 for 2022, so I'm still looking for those as well. But you know that those are releases that are thorough and come out um, around the same time every year. So I definitely put those all in that category, and that's definitely one of the main ones that I'm 
going to be looking for. Now, I'm not going to be looking for um, a lot of Buffalo Trace products, right? Because as we all know, it's, it's really kind of impossible to find, at least in my area. But with that said, I'm going to try, I'm definitely going to try to be on the lookout for that stag um, bourbon. So they dropped the junior, now it's just stag, and it's supposed to be coming up around this time frame. Now, small caveat, I never even found a stag junior except for the one that I have in my area. That was South Florida, well, I'm not sure how Central Florida is, but in my area I didn't even see it. Not even at an extravagant price, I just never seen them except for that one. So I was very lucky, very happy to get that one. But with that said, I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get a stag bottle, right? It might be impossible as well. I guess we'll see, but I will be hunting for that one as well. Now, one that I will never get over here, that I have to either order online or take a trip up to Georgia and see if they have it there or talk to some people in Georgia or in Texas that I have relationships with, is that Smoke Wagon Bottled and Bond Rye. Yes, so I'm gonna be searching for that one. It's supposed to be coming out soon and it is going to be one of their main offerings. So maybe on the Smoke Wagon website, I'll be able to get it. Maybe on Sealbacks, I'll be able to get it. But I'll definitely be hunting for it because you guys know, I love Smoke Wagon. I love everything that they put out. So why not go and try out their rye? I know I'm gonna like it because it's a low rye and you can't go wrong with what Smoke Wagon does. So that's definitely one that I'm going to be hunting for. I don't want to put this in the series, right? Um, so I took it apart, I made it its own thing because um, they kind of did it differently. Before they used to put out one at the beginning of the year, one at the end of the year. Before that it used to be just one a year and now they're putting out two and it's all around the same time frame. But either way. I'm going to be looking for Maker's Mark BRT-01 and BRT-02. I'm excited about that one. I have all the releases from previous years except for the RC6, but all the other ones I freaking love. And I definitely will be on the lookout for that. Hopefully I'm able to get it here in my area. Hopefully be able to see what you know what the prices are and if I can get it at my RP and if I can get both of them all of that but that's definitely one of the things that I'm gonna be looking for because I love these Maker's Mark um, uh, limited release series I think they're phenomenal and that is definitely one of the bourbons that I'm really going to be hunting all right two or three more right real quick um, Maybe I should have put this with the Bookers and the series, but this isn't really a series. But it goes hand in hand with the Booker. So I have a little book, Chapter 5, that I was able to purchase last year. Now, I know it got mixed reviews, but I particularly like it, right? It's, it's different, it's complex, but I do like it. So with that said, I'm going to be out there looking for that little book, Chapter 6. And it's around this time frame towards like November-ish time, October, November-ish time frame that it comes out. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for it because I really think that I'm going to enjoy it. And well, hey, I only have one that I based it on because I haven't had the previous little books. But just judging by that one, I definitely will be on the lookout for this next one coming up. All right two more so i recently just put in a raffle i did a raffle um, and if you guys haven't done it i'm not sure if, when was the cutoff but i think it was yesterday but i put in a raffle for the old forester birthday bourbon if you guys seen one of my previous videos i tried to get that birthday bourbon through the abc vault program and i wasn't able to get it so yeah, I was a little bummed about that, but um, they're doing it different now. They're not releasing it just at their distillery. They're putting in raffles, so you sign up for the raffle, and they're going to pick people, I think, from September 2nd to the 9th or something like that. So if you put in your raffle and you get the chance to win, then you have to go and stop by the distillery, actually pick up a bottle before the end of the year. So I put in for that. I'm not really hunting for it, but... You know, I did all the things to be able to 
put myself in a position that I could potentially win it. So definitely will be looking out for that and see if I'm one of the people that are picked. Who knows? You never know. I could get lucky. Lastly, guys, I will say that, yes, this is going to be probably impossible to find as well, but I will be looking for that Four Roses limited releases. Now, they're going to do a few different releases, and they kind of did the same thing as Old Forester. I did not have the chance to actually get into that before we actually went in there, but before they actually stopped the raffling, but they were raffling off um, a chance to win or to be able to purchase one of those limited release bottles. So definitely we'll be looking for it because I missed that. Hopefully I'm able to find one at a good price and actually be able to taste them because I know a lot of people fancy them and they like they like what they do, right? They like how they taste. So definitely we'll be on the lookout for that and hopefully I'll be able to put it on this channel. Well guys, those are my list. Um, let me know what you're gonna be hunting for. I know we're still at the beginning of it. But let me know what you guys are looking for. Let me know how much you're willing to pay and did any of these that I mentioned resonate with you and something that you're also gonna be looking for. Please do me the two favors. Um, subscribe, that'll really help out. Comment below and click that like or dislike button. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this larceny barrel proof and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.